does he get that kind of access? Because trust is involved. You would never get the kind of access you desire unless there's trust and relationship. Are you trying to put your phone back? Some stuff we got to get to. Let's get to it. Coach Livingston, uh, we were in Vegas at the Super Bowl when this got announced. You were, of course, back in Jackson. This is the first time I've seen you since. He's been in the building. What's he like, man? He is uh, cool as the other side of the pillow, man. Yeah. He is uh, he's smooth. Uh, he's uh, deliberate. You know, uh, kind of, kind of on the on the quiet side. But when he speaks, you know, he he, had, he speaks volume. Uh, family guy. You know, you look at him and think, oh man, he's you know so much younger than everybody. Uh, but but family guy dad has been there. You know, at the NFL level on on, on defense. Uh, knows what he's talking about. I've, I've had the pleasure of talking to him and sitting in some of his defensive meetings. Uh, I think that people are going to be pleasantly surprised at how these big plays that we were giving up last year disappear. Mm -hmm. uh, because schematically, he has the right mindset to address it uh, and, and not so just so much focusing on a scheme or personal philosophy as it, he is truly looking at who we have on the roster what they excel at and putting them in those positions to excel. Uh, that's so everything I read on Lou Anarumo, the defensive coordinator in Cincinnati, who he was coaching under, yeah. everything I read about him basically said that that's what he does with his defense. He just puts his players in position to succeed. Um, he's not going to, he doesn't have like a rigid structure to his defense. It's almost week to week, dependent on who you're facing, which team it is, who they have on their team. And that's how he dictates his defense. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't. I did not read that article. That's great to know someone. I'm thinking like with someone there, but just in my interactions with the man, that's what I picked up on that. Uh, and when I say these things, this is not you know critical of, of Charles Kelly. You know, right. coaches have their experiences, their nuances, what they like to do. And Charles Kelly was was a sound defensive coordinator, gonna do great things out there at Auburn, wishing him well. But you can tell philosophically the way they look at things, it, it's just different. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just different, and, and it's just what you articulate there, Jake. He is more of a, who are we playing this week? What pieces do I have to stop them? And so you may see someone at linebacker or safety week one and two and not see them week three or four yeah. because of the matchups. Uh, he, he gets it, man. He's a nuts and bolts guy. It is personnel and their ability, not just my scheme, and we're going to run my damn scheme no matter what. I guess one of the fans' biggest like concerns with him being the hire at DC is about recruiting because yeah. Charles Kelly, you know, he was recruiter of the year, was under Saban at Bama, like he knows recruiting. There's no doubt about that. But Livingston hasn't been a college coach since like 2012. How do you see him projecting as a recruiter? Just how he interacts with the guys on the team right now? Based on his interaction with the team, um, his interactions with 19 to 22 year olds, he gets it. He knows how to communicate. Uh, and I think, juxtaposed to what you, what you said about Charles Kelly's resume uh, and his time with Alabama and time at Florida State and those programs that, you know, really have the ability to recruit just because of who they are. They recruit themselves. <laughs> it's yeah. Florida State, it's, it's Alabama. Yeah. And not taking away anything from anyone, but that's a gold standard there, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, but here's a guy who he may not have that college experience of a past DC, but here's what he does have. He knows what a defensive player in the NFL looks like. Yep. He knows what NFL general managers, player personnel, defense coordinators, and position coaches want out of players. So who better to play for, you know, some historic program that has just been riding away for 20 years, or play for this guy who has been in the NFL that long, coaching guys, knows how to get you ready from where he just came from. Uh, and I think that when you look at his ability to, to communicate Coach Prime's message and how they get along, you know, already. I don't think there's going to be a drop off in our ability uh, to recruit defenders, and that starts with your current team. Mm -hmm. New wave in college football. You got to recruit your guys back first. Well, and he also coached under uh, or was in the Bengals organization when Mike Zimmer was there. Like, yeah, yeah. there's there's common threads like oh, between yeah. them all. Yeah. Yeah, those I love the coaching tree branches, man. Yeah, it's fascinating. You know, it isn't really it? is. Like, oh man, he spent that time with him, and he sees the world that way with his own flavor. And so he's he's been around some defenses and some defensive gurus, and uh, knows how to 
put his veil on it and put it out there. So uh, I like him. I think it's a great hire. Uh, I know that it took longer than people thought it was going to take. Everybody right. was saying this day or that day. And I sat right there yeah. and said, oh, it'll probably be Monday, and it'll be you know not the next yeah. Monday. But Coach Prime was deliberate about, deliberate about making sure he got – not just the right hire as far as someone knowing the X's and O's, but their ability to communicate and connect with players. Mm -hmm. And he found it in Livingston, man. Look, man, I mean, I, we've learned it over the last year. You've known this longer than we have, but kind of just got to trust Coach Prime. Like, <laughs> the do. man knows what he's doing. Yeah, you do. And then there, there's, so much, there's so much information uh, that we're not privy to and we want to make assumptions, and people tend to make the negative assumption right. instead of the positive assumption. One of the things you have to look at when you want somebody, uh, guess what? Somebody else wants them too. Mm -hmm. you know? And as you're going through this process, and the NFL hiring calendar really doesn't start slash stop until after the Super Bowl. Right, exactly. You know, because people are still playing and still under contracts. And so you have to let all – when you're trying to get somebody from the league – you have to let all that settle. Coaches now have agents and are trying to put them in the best spot possible too. So yep. it just doesn't happen like that, even though Coach Prime is the kind of guy that can make it happen like that. He really took his time and said, no, I want a guy that fits with what we're trying to accomplish this season and beyond. And he's got him, man.